The stories found in the scriptures emphasize that life is not about us. The story of Joseph is that example. The story of Moses and, uh, and others, Joseph and Mary. The, the story of the apostles and their lives and what it cost them. The story of Paul and his being shipwrecked and arrested and all the things that happened to him. All of those stories represent God and what God was doing and God's plans. And yet we often think that, well, life as a follower of Christ is going to be easy, that life in general is going to be about us and about our happiness and our joy. And yet Jesus said that in this world we would have troubles, but be of good cheer for he had overcome the world. We don't want troubles, do we? We don't want discomfort. We don't want those things that well, make us not enjoy life. And yet, those are normal things. If you read the Beatitudes, we're told that, that blessed are the poor in spirit. And, and there's a number of things that we're told that, well, makes it not about us. When Jesus said that we're to love our neighbors as ourselves, that takes on a whole different aspect of what life is going to be like. And it's not one that we necessarily look at as being the one we want to follow. And yet, God uses it all the time. Jesus said, if you want to be great, become a servant of others. Well, again, that's not quite what we have in mind or in the idea of success. My challenge to you is to think about the things that are going on in our lives and ask the question, you know, God, where are you in this? Because one of the things that we may find is that God is directly in the center of those things because we are learning things and growing in the things of God. We may not like it, but God has a purpose, and that's what I want you to think about today, that in your life, the purposes of God are more important than yours. Would you think about that today and practice that as you walk through your life? After all, it's not about you. Think about that, would you? Hey, until next time, God bless.